Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through eight simple exercises to help you improve your posture. And these are a must do for anyone who sits all day. So if you have an office job, it's really important that we also find spinal extension, lateral flexion and rotation side to side so we really improve the health of your spine. So all you need is yourself and a mat and let's bring that posture alignment back to your body. So let's just begin by sitting on your mat with your legs crossed. You're gonna take one hand down to the mat and reach up and over for a mermaid stretch, opening up through the rib cage, and then taking it up and over to the other side. Good, so you're going to inhale to lift up and over, and exhale to lift up. Do your best to keep this shoulder gliding down your back and keep both sit bones pressing into your mat. Watch that you don't let your hips come off the floor. You just wanna take about four to five mermaid stretches in each direction. Now for our next one, we're going to roll onto our front. We're going to come into a swan stretch. So if you lie all the way down, take your feet wide and let your heels drop in. Your hands will be underneath your shoulders. You're going to press your palms into the mat, roll yourself all the way up, and then slowly roll yourself back down. Imagine you have a little marble underneath your nose. You're just gonna roll that marble away, press your palms into the floor and peel your chest off the floor. Now, if your arms don't extend all the way, don't worry. Just keep drawing those abs in and up, gliding those shoulders down and back, and then slowly lower yourself back down to the mat. Again, four to five reps in this swan stretch. Now for our next one, we're going to come into four point kneeling. So you want your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. One hand will come to the back of your head and you're going to lift that elbow up to the ceiling and then bring your elbow towards your other elbow or your wrist or somewhere in between. So we're getting a nice rotation here through the thoracic spine. Again, four to five reps on each side. We're now going to move into arm circles. So you're going to lie on your side, bending your knees with your knees right in front of your hips and feet underneath your knees, reaching your arms out in front of you. You're gonna circle your top arm overhead, trying to keep your fingertips on the floor, opening up through your chest, mobilizing through that shoulder, and then circling that top arm back and around. So you'll get a nice stretch through the chest, through the shoulder, and through your thoracic spine. Again, four to five reps on each side. And now we're going to come into a glute stretch. So from a seated position, you extend your legs long out in front of you. You're going to bend one knee and then slide that other leg back in. And you're just gonna give a little rock side to side here. And then to deepen your stretch, take your chest up towards the ceiling and look up to the ceiling as well. Do a little rock side to side, breathing right into it, and then change the other leg. About 30 seconds on each leg will do. Just make sure you get a nice deep breath and send your breath right into your glutes. And our last stretch is a hip flexor stretch. So if you come up to kneeling, step one foot forward, Tuck the tailbone under, and then go ahead and reach those hands up to the ceiling so you can deepen your stretch through your chest as well. You can release that hip flexor here. Hip flexors get really tight when we sit too much. So this is one of those important ones that you wanna be stretching every single day. Again, about 30 seconds on each leg, and then you just change sides. Once you've completed all your stretches, it's really important that we also strengthen the main muscles that tend to switch off when we sit too much. So your glutes and your postural muscles. So I'm going to give you two more exercises to do every single day. Your glute bridge. Now you can do a variety of glute bridges to keep it interesting. You can do glute bridges with your feet just underneath your sit bones if you're new to them, just by lifting your hips up and then tapping those hips down, lifting up and tapping down. Now for glute bridges, I always say to do about two minutes worth of glute bridges, a variety of glute bridges as well, so you can have your feet in parallel, you can have the feet wide, 
lifting up and down, or you could even bring the soles of your feet together and press to the, outside, the outsides of your feet with your knees in line with your shoulders, lifting the hips up here. All of these exercises will strengthen slightly different areas of your glutes, so it's great to keep switching it up. But about two minutes of glute bridges will do. You can even just hold the hips up and take tiny little dips, lifting your hips down, down an inch and up an inch. And your last exercise is a wall angel, one of my favorite exercises to help you improve your posture. So for the wall angel, you're just going to bring your arms up into a goal post position, walk yourself back into a wall, and you're going to try to keep your arms, shoulder blades, mid and lower back connected into the wall. So if your glutes get in the way, think about softening those knees, walking your feet forward just a little bit so you can press your lower back into the wall as well. And of course, if you want to get a little bit deeper, drop it all the way down in so you can hold a squat here. And this is a really great challenge on your legs as well. Hold it here for at least one minute in the wall, Angel, to see an improvement in your posture. And that is it. So if you can follow these exercises every single day, you'll notice an improvement in your posture over time. And it's also going to help alleviate any back pain that you are experiencing. So I hope you found these exercises useful. Do let me know in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. I've got new workouts every single Monday. So make sure you hit that notification button so you never miss my weekly workouts. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for joining me and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye guys.